In this video a patient with bilateral macular atrophy undergoes implantation of the scariest macular lens. This is a supplementary intraocular lens designed to be implanted in the ciliary sulcus of pseudophagic eyes, acting as a magnifier within the eye, it enhances near vision in patients with advanced macular disease enabling them to read and perceive details more effectively. The lens features a central 1.5 mm optical zone providing a plus 10.0 diopter addition, resulting in approximately 2.2 times magnification. After expanding the anterior chamber with OVD, a 2.4 mm incision is done on the steep corneal axis. Preparing the lens is straightforward, OVD is applied in the rails of the cartridge, the lens is grasped with a non-toothed forceps and carefully placed and tucked in the cartridge which is then closed. The lens is then implanted and quickly unfolds, notice that it has four square-shaped haptics and these will be tucked in the ciliary sulcus. The best strategy is to slowly rotate the lens and the haptics will sequentially slide into the sulcus. The surgeon should check that the lens is stable and centered in order to optimize vision improvement. Then OVD is washed out with BSS solution, and the corneal incision hydrated. Myocol may be used to further stabilize the lens but it is not necessary. The results are not immediate, as the patient needs time to adapt to a 15 cm reading distance. Results from clinical studies indicate that up to 40% of patients report significant improvements in reading ability and overall quality of life, particularly those with legal blindness due to AMD and for whom very little to no treatment solutions exist. The SML is therefore well worth considering in these patients with significant atrophic maculopathies.